Sorry, I've been away for a couple weeks. Uh, I've been kind of busy dealing with stuff in my life. Um, basically, today I will be reviewing a movie. <clears throat> this isn't necessarily uh, what you just call like horror, but it's a little bit of exploitation um, type biker film that was uh, put out in I think the seventies. I believe that's a year. Nineteen seventy four. Um, it's an Australian film. This came out when uh, pretty much like a lot of the exploitation and uh, genre type films were coming out in Australia. Because I watched this whole thing. I, it's called uh, Hardly Hollywood, I believe it was called. Is it Hardly Hollywood or Barely Hollywood? It was basically about talking about uh, how uh, the Australian cinema came to be and uh, like the different phases it went through and whatnot. All the way from the beginning all the way up until pretty much current times. I think it all goes up to, uh, what's the one movie? Uh, Wolf Creek. They talk about Wolf Creek on that. But anyways, uh, the movie is called Stone. This is a motorcycle flick. Basically what happens is the movie starts out uh, where it's like this environmental rally. Uh, this guy's speaking and all that kind of stuff. And the bikers, this uh, gang of bikers show up and uh, I don't know if they're trying to heckle a guy. It's kind of odd of how they're, what they're doing. It's, I, I'm not very sure if they're, why they're there, but they're there nonetheless. Whether they're for the guy, what he's really saying. Well, one of them is actually tripping. Uh, he's like tripping, I don't know, if on acid, mushrooms, whatever. Um, and he kind of walks away from the pack. Uh, he goes up on this building, for whatever reason. He's up on like this one top part of this building, like up on this ledge. Well. Below him, he doesn't realize that there's this guy with a sniper rifle. Um, he's gonna try to, he's pretty much gonna try to assassinate the guy who's speaking at this environmental thing. And, uh, of course, uh, then he notices what's going on. He pretty much hears a shoot and he just starts running, he's three words, gets away as fast as he can because actually the guy tried to even try, wanted to try to kill him. Um, and then next thing you know it, not too long after that, uh, I, think it's, I think it was three of their guys that get killed off. And like one gets, uh, this guy puts like this really tight uh, um, wire going across the road. He really he tightens up really tightly and the guy comes down the street, doesn't see it, and he kind of decapitates it. Um, the other guy gets ran off the road by a car and goes flying off on his motorcycle off into like the, it looks like the ocean, and I'm trying to remember the other guy. Then there's one guy that gets, that blows up because they put like plastic explosives on his, uh, in his motorcycle and like on his one part that they played, that they took off, put it under there and put it over it so he couldn't see it. And uh, he explodes, he's dead. I thought there was at least one more person. I'm not very sure. I can't quite remember fully because I, I I've watched this just recently, but um, I watch other things too, so it's kind of like a jumble right now. Uh, but anyways, they uh, after this happens, uh, the cops try to come and find out what's going on, who who could have done this. Well, these guys don't want to deal with the cops. They hate cops, call them pigs, all that kind of stuff. Well, this cop called they could just call Stone goes over there, he's like more of like a detective, um, and he basically wants help him. And they're really reluctant on it, And but he ended up saving one of their guys' lives, because someone tries to assassinate one of them with a crossbow. And um, in doing that, they have a vote. Uh, it, was, it wasn't overly unanimous, but they voted, and he won by one vote to go with them. And he basically is going to ride with them and travel with them. Uh, and not interfere with what they do on a basis at all, you know, as a cop, to find out who's doing this. And uh, basically, that's pretty much the plot of the film. Is they that's what they're doing. Um, that's this is kind of the way I'm gonna try to do more of my reviews. Is I gave you guys kind of gave you guys a plot, and now I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about the film. Um, I love this film. It is, is really really good. Um, Honestly, when it comes out of bike films, there's a lot that are good, there's a lot that are bad. Easy Rider, quite possibly one of the best. Just like this one, Stone, quite possibly one of the best. Uh, 
It's really hard to say, me, say which one is, is better of the two because they're different types of films. One's more revenge plot. One's more, uh, you know, like the drug smuggling thing. And just, it was different. Easy Rider was different. Um, but this one, I just really, really dug it. I really liked the characters. It's really cool that they even talked about that they used some real uh, uh, motorcyclist, like biking gang. Some like the, uh, it's the... I don't know if it's a Sydney chapter, I think maybe the Sydney chapter of the Hells Angels, some of the people were in here. Um, but it's very cool. Uh, basically, if you're into that, those type of films, this one is the one to check out. Try to get this two disc set, which I got this to review from my website, so it has a bunch in it. And the discs, you know, are black, say it's a promotional one. But it has all the special, still special features. It has Stone Forever, uh, uh, it's like a classic making. It's a documentary. Uh, as original, uh, well, interviews with the original Stone cast and crew, and extensive footage of the incredible Stone 25th anniversary celebration attended by 35,000 bikers in 1998. Uh, as the making of Stone, Stone makeup test, and uh, director slideshow. Um, the director also plays in this film. Uh, Bottom line, it's just great Australian cinema. It's just great cinema in general. Um, the overall story is great. Uh, acting is great. Um, everything is just awesome. I just have really much more to say. Uh, I know Quentin Tarantino is a huge fan of this film. Um, I guarantee if you talk to him, he probably would recommend this as well. Uh, and it, and he even pointed out one part that I had to rewatch and I really liked it was uh, there's a scene where they go to they're having this funeral procession. But of course, this isn't a different style than a regular funeral procession. Basically, it's this one motorcycle that has like a sidecar where he puts he put the casket on it and he put like a motorcycle helmet for the person who died, and then it's just a big long like uh, dual lane of bike of bikers. Just it's so it's it's awesome. It's an amazing scene. I don't even know how many bikers probably even in like that scene alone, but it's just awesome. say about this film. It's 99 minutes. It says not rated. Uh, unfortunately, it's only in mono. It doesn't matter. It, honestly, for this film, it's too damn good. And uh, the music's awesome. It's some great rock and roll music. Um, yeah, there's not much more I can say about this. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. I hope you guys will go out and check this out. Whether you get the one disc, two disc, whatever. Go on eBay, go on Amazon, go wherever. Go on 7 and buy it. It's definitely worth it. Uh, that's all I can really say. Uh, I hope you guys keep coming back. Uh, I should be definitely be back next week doing a review. Uh, I'll have to watch something if I have to watch to do a review on. Um, you guys take it easy. Uh, and even go over to my channel and check it out if you aren't, if you aren't already subscribed. And Because uh, I should be having some new reviews up there soon and some new videos. Uh, you guys take it easy. Alright guys, bye.